Praise God, praise God, you lovely people on Facebook and on YouTube. Blessings to your family. My God, if we definitely could use some prayer right now. Well, just like I've been saying for the last three years, if we're in some dark times, we're in some bad times, we're in some depressed times, and a lot of people that don't have a strong relationship with God is definitely going through. I'm talking to 50 or 60 people now, and I tell you, just about everybody have uh, some issues going on with their life. And just to go there, and like I said, if I don't give no scripture, everybody know that we need to pray. Everybody holler for prayer uh, when the tragedy come. But you must have this uh, life with God before something happens. And this is what I've been telling you for years. you got to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, God himself, before tragedy come. And what God do, he, get, he don't stop a lot of stuff from happening to us. But then again, he's stopping a lot of stuff from happening to us every day every minute of the hour right now why are you sitting here watching me i'm watching you uh come on uh we can hear we can see we can smell our limbs is moving he's working in our behalf every day while we saying god ain't for it. yes he is he making lungs go in uh, air go into your lungs he's making blood run through your heart god is always he's looking for your cheers children when they came home yesterday he looked out for them come on He's always, but what prayer do, it builds like a little shield around you. And if tragedy do happen, if something do happen where it really hurts your loss of mother, loss of a father, love, loss of a wife or a husband or a child, come on. Some people love their animals more than people. So a loss of a dog, whatever it is, God is going to get your attention. And sometimes when we slap God like we did in the book of Genesis, when he said be fruitful and multiply, he was talking about a man and woman. What did we do? We changed the law that same sex could be married. We slap God, but here's the thing. God can slap us harder. Here come the COVID. But now we're talking about take prayer out of schools. We don't need prayer. And when you study this out, like I studied about when we used to have prayer, we used to say the pleasures leads to honor our flag. flag. When I was going to school, and I know that's got dust on it, but at the same time, I'm just telling you, wasn't no shooties in the school. And then somebody would prayer. And sometimes if it was a lot of Hispanic children, somebody would speak it in Spanish. But here's the thing. If you aren't in God, it don't matter whether it's in Hebrew, Greek, uh, or Negro. As long as it's God, we got one God. We serve one God. I don't care all the religions that we as man have put in there. Pentecostal, Church and God in Christ, uh, uh, Latter-day Saints. Jehovah Witness, Seven Day of Vanis, uh, Hoopa Koopa, and Haba Haba, all these different religions. God ain't never said nothing about no religion. He wants you to love each other as brothers and sisters. Love him with all thy heart, thy mind is number one, first commandment. And the second one is just as great as love your neighbor as thyself. And that's, how, that's the simple rules. And then it says that if you can do those two, it will cover just about all your other sins, if you get that down. So we took prayer out of schools and look at it. School have tripled in, in, and uh, got worse in, in gun shootings in the school. Marriages is worse. Domestic problems. And our children is confused. Gay and lesbian. You got four or five children by a man, and now you like a woman. We are confusing the generation, people. And then nobody wants to do God. Nobody wants to come to, to come to God. And we are looking stupid, talking about it is dangerous. Everybody has realized it is dangerous. Some can jump off at Walmart at any moment. Some can jump off at Chuck E. Cheese. Some can jump off at your graduation. It does not. It jumps can jump off at a funeral. My God, you just don't know. Well, you know what you do? You make a trail. Go to A, I'm going to the store. I go get my clothes out of clean. I got to stop by and get me some bleach. And I'm coming back home. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to go right out of that side door. I normally go out of my car. We park right there. I'm going to make sure it's locked. you got to start. The Bible said watch and pray. Watch and pray. Come on, somebody. And this is the time we're at. When they took prayer out of schools, I'm telling you, the way we stop it, get prayer back in school. Well, I love you all. Just a little hot word on this Thursday before Friday. What did you say? It's Thursday before Friday. My God. The Thursday need to have a day because everybody like Thursday. Oh, I can't wait till it's Thursday. Why? 
because it's one day before Friday when I get paid. Well, I love you all out there. You guys be blessed. And remember, everybody, pray. I don't care if you're under the bridge or you're in the penthouse. I don't care if you're a drug dealer, my God, or you're a priest or do the choir at church. Everybody need to pray, including you and me. I love you all. Be blessed.